I will use source conversion method to find the unknown voltage Vx which is the control voltage of this voltage control voltage device so uh, this is the device uh, the control voltage is uh, 2Vx so I want I can see that there is a voltage source here and a series resistance but I won't convert it into uh, the current source and a parallel resistance because this is the control voltage so I won't touch this what I will do I will change this one this voltage source and series resistance into a parallel and a current source parallel resistance and a current source so that 8 ohms there that's 6 ohms there this is 3 ohms this is 12 volts and this one will now become a current uh, sorry this one will be a dependent source so dependent current source like that and the value will be 2 vx divided by 6 that that's the resistance so it will be one third vx now here i can uh, find the equivalent of this parallel combination so that will be circuit will be simplified this will be 3 ohms and this will be just one parallel resistance there and this will be the current uh, vo voltage control current source which is one third vx is the value and this is 12 volts this is our controls voltage vx now this one will be 8 times 6 divided by 8 plus 6 so that's 48 uh, divided by 14 or I can write 24 divided by 7 ohms so I will leave it as a fraction now I can convert this part into a uh, voltage source and a series resistance so I will end up having having just one series circuit so that will be easier to solve and in so now it's becoming here is the resistance which is the same 24 over 7 ohms and the value of the voltage co voltage controlled voltage source will be uh, this will be one third times 24 divided by 7 so that will be 8 over 7 vx that's the value now I need to find vx so vx is i times 3 and i is the series current that is flowing in this circuit uh, just i so the basically the current which is which was which is flowing through the 3 ohms resistance this one but now this that's the same current so just flowing through the single series circuit so that's there so i will be 12 minus that's 8 over 7 8 over 7 vx times here it is 3 and divided by that will be 24 over 7 plus 3 so that will be vx here and in the denominator will be if i add it it will be 45 over 7 and in the numerator it will be 36 minus 24 uh, 36 minus 24 over 7 vx so it's becoming 45 over 7 vx is equal to 36 minus 24 over 7 vx so if i take this one on the other side it will become 67 over 7 vx and in this side this is 36 so vx will become become 36 times 7 over 69 and that is 3.652 volts so that's the control voltage vx in this circuit